Hi friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In this video, I will explain the photoelectric effect. We will understand what we mean by photoelectric effect and will vary various parameters related to this effect like uh, intensity of light using this slider and uh, wavelength of light, the battery voltage applied to these plates and will also draw various graphs like uh, current versus battery voltage current versus light intensity and electron energy versus light frequency. We will also change the target metal used at this plate like sodium, zinc, copper, platinum, calcium etc. So let's start our experiment. But before this let me tell you what is a photoelectric effect. Actually the photoelectric effect is the emission of electrons when the light falls on a material and the electrons that are emitted are known as the photoelectrons. Now we will see our experiment. First of all you see here is the light source and I will start to increase its intensity and I have a certain wavelength set to it. Here is the ultraviolet range and uh, this is the visible light range okay and uh, here is infrared range. Now I have set it to certain uh, frequency and I am going to increase the intensity. The material, the target material used here is the sodium from this. I have selected sodium. So let's see it. What happens on increasing the intensity? If I keep on increasing the intensity, you see that this is a single photoelectron and if I increase the intensity further then you will see that number of electrons that are emitted by this photoelectric effect are increased. So the important thing here is let me tell you one important thing about photoelectric effect. Let's decrease this intensity to zero. So the electrons emission is uh, stops okay. Now I will tell you one important thing about this uh, photoelectric effect. If I reduce the frequency to a certain level, actually a minimum frequency is required for known as the threshold frequency to emit the electrons. Okay. If the frequency is lower than that, in the left side, if I you look at this, if I uh, go to the left side then the frequency increases okay ultraviolet range and on the right side the frequency decreases frequency decreases or you can you can see on the screen that its wavelength is increasing it means frequency is decreasing okay energy is decreasing and on the left side we have more energetic electrons having high frequency and lower wavelength so if I reduce the frequency lower than the threshold actually there is a particular a fixed threshold for every target uh, metal that that I have used the target material that has been used on this uh, plate if I explain this with this uh, with this uh, simulation let's see I have set this uh, to 698 nanometer in the visible range for the sodium metal and this is very low frequency and if I increase the intensity let's see what happens I'm increasing the intensity even though I'm increasing the intensity the electrons are not coming out why because a minimum frequency is required for the electrons to come out the for the photoelectrons to come out okay if this is lower than that frequency then even I increase the frequency to intensity even if I increase the intensity of light to very high level the electrons will not come out from the surface so I need to have a fixed frequency that is higher than the threshold uh, frequency okay that cutoff frequency if I have that kind of uh, let's say uh, here I have this uh, I have set it to this frequency uh, the wavelength is 455 nanometer and now if I you see first of all let me set it to a certain uh, frequency okay this is the wavelength it is showing the wavelength here so 49483 nanometer wavelength now since intensity is zero but I have this threshold 
frequency but i also need some intensity so first you need to have a certain frequency that uh, threshold of frequency then you increase the intensity and uh, with increase in, ten in intensity the number of electrons emitted that is the photoelectrons will increase but it all takes place after you have that frequency now you see i have fixed the frequency and increasing the intensity and with increase in intensity the number of electrons are increasing because i have reached that th threshold frequency but if the threshold frequency is lower than uh, is low if the frequency is lower than the threshold then even if, we, if i increase the intensity no electrons will come out as we have seen so this is the case now let's see some more things about this so no electrons are coming at this time you can see no current is flowing because the intensity is zero I'm going to increase the intensity and you will see some electrons are coming out as the intensity is increasing and the voltage is and the frequency is higher than this threshold frequency okay now one experiment uh, I'm going to do is I will increase the negative potential of this plate of the plate on the right side and since electrons are also negatively charged these electrons will be repelled uh, by this negative plate on the right side and why i am going to do this i will explain you you see i am increasing the negative voltage and will try to reduce this current to zero here it is 0 0.0026 okay so current is flowing and i am reducing it to zero just enough uh, negative voltage that is uh, required to stop these electrons to reach to this plate so that the current this read this current reading is zero actually i wanted to increase this level negative voltage which is just enough to stop all these electrons okay manually i have done my best here the current is zero now i have some charge the charge uh, of electrons i know okay and the voltage and i also know that uh, charge into voltage that is q into v is nothing but the energy so if i, I have uh, just enough uh, voltage that is required to stop these electrons then if i multiply the charge of electron with the voltage the stopping potential okay it is known as the stopping potential then i will get the energy which is equal to the energy of these electrons okay so q into v this charge q into v this charge charge of electrons and this uh, v will be the energy the kinetic energy of electrons and it should be enough to stop the electron that is having the maximum kinetic energy so this is equal to the q in this q into v is equal to the k max kinetic energy max of the photoelectric uh, electron or the photo electron okay so this was this now uh, we can also change the target uh, material from sodium to another and uh, can see the graphs okay let me tell you one more important thing that uh, what is this these are some graphs we will vary the intensity and uh, frequencies and we'll see how what happens uh, in these graphs okay one more thing uh, that uh, kinetic energy maximum is equals to h into f minus phi important formula is k max kinetic energy max is equal to h c by lambda or h into f minus phi so what is this here the kinetic energy maximum kinetic energy of these electrons these photoelectrons is equal to the h h is the planck's constant and f is the frequency minus phi and phi is what phi is the work function and this is what work function is it gives the minimum energy which is required to remove an electron from the surface of the metal it is different for different metals so the, it is the minimum energy which i that i require to remove an electron from the metal surface if the work function is lower then that energy will be lower okay the electron will be 
uh, emitted easily from that surface of the metal okay and this uh, work function denoted as phi uh, can again be written as h into f naught okay and what is f naught f naught is the threshold frequency for that metal let's uh, see the current versus battery voltage as this uh, video is going too lengthy so i will just uh, draw these graphs by varying the respective parameters so since it is current versus battery voltage you see that i am increasing the battery and you observe the current uh, current value at this place these flow of electrons and also the shape of this curve you see i am increasing the battery voltage okay now let's see this uh, current versus light intensity graph this is the amount of current showing shown here you observe this graph now current versus light intensity i will change the intensity if i'm increasing the intensity decreasing the intensity what happens and if i increase the intensity then you observe it is increasing linearly current is increasing current has been increasing here and uh, also by the graph you can see now the third graph is between uh, electron uh, energy versus light frequency so you observe this also this is the parameter to change the frequency of light and uh, you see how the energy increases uh, frequency is increased on the left side i will increase the frequency by moving it to left side going towards the uv section ultraviolet section and you see the current is also increasing observe here current is also increasing and energy is also increasing see by this graph energy has also increased okay if i reduce it observe this dot if i reduce this reduce the frequency then the energy of the electrons the electron energy is reducing so it is also moving linearly okay so this was all about these three types of uh, graphs okay we can also change the material from zinc to let's say to copper what happens with copper it will have different threshold frequency the target material on which the light is falling and it has uh, i have fixed it to certain frequency intense certain intensity and i will uh, increase the frequency its uh, work function is different it requires a uh, different threshold uh, frequency to emit electrons let's see where it starts where the photoelectric effect phenomena takes place i am increasing it increasing it still no no electrons coming out now I have increased it to certain level now electrons are coming out of it if i change it uh, from copper to another let's say platinum you see that for platinum uh, on this same uh, frequency no electrons are coming out photoelectric effect has not started yet let's increase the frequency so its, thresh uh, its threshold frequency is at higher okay it needs uh, high frequency um, light to emit electrons its work function is high if it is uh, calcium then for calcium let's reduce this it is still uh, flowing electrons are still emitting let's reduce this okay at this place so it is uh, allowing the electrons to emit even at lower frequency low energy frequency low energy light is uh, enough to emit electrons if i use calcium okay so its work function is low so this was all about uh, various uh, parameters and the concept of photoelectric effect i hope you uh, must have enjoyed the video and liked the concept that i explained to you for more such videos please subscribe my channel engineering made easy and keep watching it and like and share the video if you liked it thank you for watching have a nice day see you guys in the next video bye